What is up guys, Karma Medic here and welcome back to another dose. Look at this new studio, temporary studio while I'm here in Athens, having a little bit of holiday with my friends and family. Just until I get back to the UK, this is sort of the scenery that you guys are gonna be seeing in the next couple of videos. I hope you guys like it. I've got my graduation photo up here from the University of Toronto back in 2017 with all the different classmates that I graduated with. I've got my bachelor's honors bachelor of science degree over here um, in the life sciences from the University of Toronto and then a couple of knickknacks left and right to hopefully make this an interesting setup for you guys. If this is your first time watching one of my videos, my name is Nasser and I'm now a third year medical student studying at King's College London and I just share all kinds of my experiences related to medical school, trying to help you guys get accepted to medical school, etc, etc. While I've been on holiday, I've been slightly less active on YouTube than I usually am, but you guys can keep up with me and everything that I'm doing over on my Instagram page. I'm posting a lot more over there. So if you guys are craving a little bit of Karma Medic, that's where you can find me. Wow, it's really been a while since I've recorded a video. I've missed you guys. Let me know how your UCAP preparation is going. Let me know how your summer is going down in the comment down below. I'd really like to interact with you a little bit more and hear about how you guys are doing. But anyways, without further ado, let's jump into today's video. And the topic of today's video is telling you guys about what I think are the best UCAT resources to help improve your score on the UCAT test. So I took the UCAT exam in 2013 and then again in 2017, where I managed to score in the 99th percentile. I managed to do very, very well. So I'll provide you guys with the information and then you can decide what resources you want to use. So I'm gonna split this video into four free resources and four paid resources. So the first free resource that I wanna recommend are my UCAT videos here on YouTube. And no, I'm not saying that because I'm a narcissist and I think my videos are the best thing ever. I just have a whole catalog walking you guys through every single section of the UCAT test. I go through questions, I talk about how you should answer them, I tell you what the section is about, and they're totally free. I think that these videos hold a lot of value and I get messages all the time on YouTube and on Instagram telling me how helpful these videos have been to other students in their UCAT preparation. So I highly recommend you start with those. It'll give you a good idea of what the UCAT test is about, what sections you think you might be weakest in and might need to improve on, etc., etc. Students have found them very, very useful in the past and I'm sure you will too. Okay, two other free resources which I think are incredibly invaluable when it comes to the UCAT exam but also medical school applications in general are the student room.com and the medicportal.com. So starting off with the studentroom.com, this is a forum website or a forum based website. Basically they're a website that has forums for a lot of different topics, but they also have forums for medical school, me medical universities, and also the UCAT test. And the good thing about this website is that it is all information that's written by other students. So you can really get the personal experience. You can ask questions to individuals who will reply to you and they can tell you about how they felt when they were going through the UCAT, all the different tips and tricks that they learned. And so I really like that website because it's a bunch of students helping out a bunch of other students and you sort of get that very natural advice. It's not disseminated by a company or anything like that. It's literally just students helping out other students. And if you dig deep enough, I'm sure you'll find comments that I left on the website last year when I was trying to help other students get through the UCAT test. Now themedicportal.com, I'm pretty sure has a company running behind it, but they do have a ton of free information, lots of websites with just lots of free info about the UCAT test and other things medical school related. It has, you know, I think some sample questions as well. It tells you about each of the different sections how to tackle them, time-saving trips, etc., etc. So it's also another really good resource that I would highly recommend. So the last free resource that I want to mention are the mocks and the mock sections that you can find on the official UCAT website. These are good because they're written by the actual UCAT organization. However, I will say that in my personal experience, those tests happen to be much, much harder than what you'll actually see on test day. And in fact, I get messages all the time from students telling me that they've completed those mocks and they did very poorly, or they found them very hard and asking me if it's similar to the actual UCAT test. I personally don't think so, but I will always recommend to do those harder questions to practice with lots of hard materials because the logic goes that if you can do the harder questions, then you can do the easier ones too. All right, now moving on to the four paid resources that I want to mention for the UCAT test. Now, don't get me wrong, you can go a very, very long way using only the free resources that I just recommended, but because I find the UCAT to be a very practice heavy test, some of these paid resources can be very useful. And so the first thing you're gonna need in order to practice lots and lots of questions is a question bank. Now there are lots of different question banks by lots of different companies out there, but the one that I personally think is the absolute best is the one by Medify. Now Medify has partnered with me on a lot of my previous videos, and the reason that I've worked with them so much is because I genuinely believe that their UCAT question bank is the best one out there. And in fact, I've received lots of messages from you guys on both YouTube and Instagram letting me know how useful Medify has been to you, 
how much it has helped improve your score and that you're really thankful that I recommended it, which makes me very happy to see because you guys are seeing the value that I see in this platform. So Medify is an online question bank. They have thousands of questions for you to work from. I think something like 20 mock tests and mock sections that you can work through. It's basically exactly what you need in order to get practice from a wide, wide, wide variety of questions. You're gonna be able to see some easy, some hard, some in the middle, and that's what's gonna help you improve your scores and be able to tackle any question that you see on test day. The second resource that I want to mention are my UCAT notes. Shameless plug, but I recently released my own personalized, digitized UCAT notes. These are the same notes that have now been used by thousands of students, and honestly, the feedback from you guys has been nothing short of amazing. I'm really, really happy that you guys are finding them useful, you're liking the layout, you're liking the style, etc. The notes cover all five sections of the UCAT test, and I also have sections on how to know if your score is competitive, how to manage your time in the UCAT, how to prepare and study for the UCAT, making a plan, etc. The notes are about 10 pounds depending on which country you buy them from. So if you're interested at all, I'll leave a link in the description down below and also in a pinned comment. You guys can check out my Etsy store and pick up a copy over there. Now the third paid resource that I want to mention is a book. It's actually the 1250 questions book from Amazon. Wait, in fact, I might actually have that in this room. So if you don't know, I'm in my room where I went to high school here in Athens, Greece. Um, so yeah, I might actually have that book still. Okay, so I went and checked and turns out I don't have it. At least it's not on my bookshelf, maybe it's hidden somewhere else. But it's a dark green book on Amazon. It's called the 1250 or 1200 UK CAT questions book. It's an older book, but don't worry about that. The test questions and the material is still very relevant to the UCAT today. Now the thing about that book is that it is more difficult in my opinion than the questions that you will see on the UCAT exam. However, like I've mentioned before, doing questions that are more difficult, I think is very, very useful. If you can take your time and work through the harder questions, you still build those problem solving patterns. You still learn ways of thinking through different types of questions and it will still be very useful for you when it comes to exam day. So yeah, I remember finding that book very useful and I would recommend it and I have recommended it to anyone who's asked me about study resources before. Now this book over here, which I just found on my shelf, I actually don't remember using, um, but I've had a look through it and yeah, this is definitely my really bad handwriting in these books. So if you're interested, I really don't remember whether it's good or bad, but this is a book that I've used. Now the last resource that I want to recommend is a UCAT course. And this is something that I get asked about all the time. What UCAT course should I take? Should I do it with this company, with that company, etc.? Now in the past, a lot of companies have approached me and asked me to promote their UCAT course, but I've really felt like what you get for the amount that you pay is not enough value for me to recommend it to you guys. But anyways, recently this small YouTuber by the name of Ali Abdal has released his very own UCAT course. He's an F2 junior doctor working in Cambridge and he also makes videos here in the medicine, lifestyle, tech, YouTube space. Totally kidding by the way, he's a massive YouTuber and I'm sure you guys know who he is. Anyways, so I've been using his course for the last two weeks and I've honestly found it very, very impressive. It's basically exactly how I would want to make a UCAT course if I was going to make one. It takes all the different sections and breaks them down into many, many, many smaller videos around one to five minutes. So they're really easily digestible. And yeah, it's comprehensive. It covers everything. And it's the first course that I feel confident in recommending to you guys. I really have enjoyed using it. So if you guys are interested in this course, I will leave an affiliate link here on screen. And again, in the description and in a pinned comment down below. So what this affiliate link means is that if you purchase this course using my link, you're gonna help support the Karma Medic channel at no extra cost to you. So if you guys are interested in the course at all and you do want to sign up, please do use my link. Again, I'll leave it here on screen and in the description down below. And that way you can help support Karma Medic while also improving your UCAT test score. All right, and I think that's all the resources that I want to recommend today. So please take a look at all of these resources and you guys can decide what you think is best for you personally. And I hope that they help you in your UCAT preparation. All right, guys, that is it for me. I'm signing out of this video. Welcome to the new temporary studio until I get back to the UK and I will see you in the next one. Peace. Oh, camera's too far. Just zoom into my hand.